Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. Every year at the end of November and the beginning of December, the Carrefour Hypermarkets do a sale on toys. If you buy two, you get one for free, which comes down to 33.34% discount. I went to two locations that are closest to me. Uh, I did only buy these three majorette tune-ups at the closest location to my house. Now at normal price these are pretty expensive so with the discount still too much for what I want to pay for them but I also had a 5 euro coupon for a discount so I used that too and that way I only paid 2 euro and 99 cents instead of 6 euro and 99 cents for these. So what are these majorette tune-ups? Um, this is uh, series number one, 18 cars in total. Uh, these come with seven surprises. One is a metal car. You don't know what car is in this box. The one or several tuning parts, an accessory, a sticker sheet, a flyer, a collector's box, and a collector's chip. This is kind of what. Uh, it can look like this is a new casting by the way this charger I think they want to appeal to both children and collectors with the, this uh, series the children will definitely like the tuning parts and the accessories while the collectors will uh, be interested to uh, keep the car pristine and of course not play with it and put it in the collectors box with its uh, collectors chip so not sure if that's uh, if they're uh, uh, reaching that aim where they can uh, achieve that goal that they want uh, seem to be want to reach with this uh, not going to open up these in this video I uh, I kinda am on the fence about how I want to review these whether I want to wait till I have all of them or whether I want to do a live video where I open these up and you guys can uh, comment on the on the, that and, and give your own opinion on these so let me know in the comment section down below what uh, you guys would like to do, see me do with these uh, if you're interested obviously so that same week I got a box from my usual hobby store uh, in the Netherlands some uh, items at normal price, some items that were on offer and some damaged items. Uh, we start with some green light. Uh, this uh, was a uh, damaged item. Um, so reduced from $6.99 to $4.99. This is a new series, series one of the four post lifts. Uh, on the back it kind of shows you what you uh, can do with these. Uh, you can unscrew them from the plinth and then take them apart and adjust the uh, the rack in three different heights. So 2021 copyright obviously since it's new. So let's take a look at these so die cast lift. Um, okay, that doesn't want to come out. Okay, there it is. So it comes with these little thingies. One is still in there, and the other one apparently fell out. So let's uh, see if I can click this on here. I think I'm not sure if this is metal. I think this is plastic. These little ramps. Yeah, okay, that was quite easy. Okay, this one too. I think it looks uh, pretty good. Uh, there's also a golf one, I believe. And um, the other one, I forget. It's uh, quite a nice modern bridge. It's got the um, these two things to lift up the car while it's on the... Um, on the bridge on the left sorry to uh, to work on it and it even seems to have these little pads to do an alignment so looks pretty uh, well decked out this lift so let's unscrew it and see if we can adjust it so 
So I want to kind of want to put this in my display cabinet and then have one car at the top and then one car underneath it kind of save some space not that I'm going to uh, buy a lot of these and uh, create kind of an extra floor that's not uh, what the goal is okay so this just falls completely apart interesting so I thought this would uh, kind of be able to stand on its own but it seems it will need the plinth to uh, to function. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I thought that would uh, be able to stand on its own, but that's not going to work. Okay, so I'll I will have to use the uh, the plinth. That's unfortunate. So that's going to be a little bit fiddly to to do this. So I'm not going to attempt this on camera. But you get you get the idea uh, like that. Oh yeah, and there's one with the engine. I think that's usually the one that's over here. So they also have to pay attention to that, that you're using the right one on the right spot. Well, at least in our workshop, that's where the uh, the controls are on the one in that corner. Okay, so I probably won't be buying any more of these because that's just a bit too uh, too fiddly for me. So, and then you have them all together, and now how do you screw this back on? Is uh, what I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking myself. This is uh, really, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's put that aside. On to the next. From the Blue Collar Collection, Series 9, 1976 Dodge B100. Uh, kind of a bent packaging and I, I broke it when I wanted to bend it back for the th thumbnail picture. Anyways, $7.99, little reduction, $6.99, not that much, but it's a cool van and uh, yeah, would have bought this anyway. 2021 copyright also, new stuff. It's in a Mopar livery. When we get uh, Fiat parts delivered at work, they are also in a Mopar box. Serial number 2492. Nice shiny chrome rims. Got the Chrysler logo, Mopar underneath. Dodge on the hood. Take a look inside. Nice cargo space. Cool van. I prefer my vans not to have advertising on them, but if it's um, kind of the advertising of the brand itself or brand related, the car make related, then uh, then that's okay. Here we got the Hollywood series. Um, I don't know if there's actually a series on these. No, it's just the Hollywood release. Um, the BA's 1983 GMC Vendura from um, the A team and the uh, weathered version. I already have one of these, um, but I bought another one. This has a 2020 copyright but it's a 21 production as you can see here above my thumb that stands for the production year uh, normal version is 779 and then the green machine is 999 the reason why I bought another one is because often there's some uh, variations on these 
Um, here's uh, my first one that I got last year in 2020. As you can see, it is far less dusty than uh, this 2021 release. They have the same uh, article number. You can see here 44865F. They are exactly the same. Um, so they keep on producing these as long as there is a demand from the from the stores, from the hobby dealers, um, or whatever stores sell these, then they will uh, keep producing them. But as you can see, the the one from last year is far less uh, dusty. And um, this is the normal version I have. Might have to pick up another one of this too, because this is also 2020 production. Um, when it comes to dustiness, it's kind of in between the two. And I'll show you another example of variation. This is the original release um, from 2018, copyright 2018. Back then they didn't put the uh, production date on there. But, uh, I Believe me, this is a 2018 production. So, and then I bought another one uh, the next year. So you can see, still 2018 copyright, but 2019 production. Same uh, article number 44790B. 44790B. And yeah, the um, sun visor came undone. That's why it was reduced in price. As you can see here, the 2019 version as opposed to the 2018 version has lettering on the tires and when you look at the bases the 2018 one is an unpainted raw base and the 2019 one has a silver painted base so that's interesting these kind of variations they do so most of the stuff stays the same but there's little differences Got one Johnny Lightning from the Street Freaks the Surf Rods, $7.99 reduced to $5.99 because uh, well this packaging is pretty crunched. Actually, looks like a, a dog has been chewing on it or something like that. Uh, here's uh, the rest of the vehicles in the, the set. This is a 2020 copyright. Although I thought, oh yeah. I thought this was new, but yeah, it says 2020, so not as new as I thought it was. And actually, I see a, a date here underneath the barcode. So that's October 21 of 2020. So what we got here is a 1964 Olds Vista Cruiser, number five. Limited edition one of 4180. Some freak facts there. Surfing the sea foam with wood paneling. So actually, this is a vehicle in sea foam green with uh, partially white paint and wood paneling. Here we got the card. I got the series on the back. So metal on metal, unpainted base, rubber tires, steelies in white, painted details in the front, Oldsmobile on the hood, which opens up. Only black details, well no tampos and no paint underneath, I mean just a black engine. Wood paneling, is it the same? Yeah, on both sides it is. Two surfboards on top. Got a uh, tan ish interior. Does this fold down too? Because would it have two opening parts? I find that hard to believe. It kind of looks like that. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to force it. Automobile on the tailgate too. Lake Michigan, it seems to say. On a California license plate I don't know if that's uh, possible but yeah nice cool
cool wagon could not resist resist that then we got a few tiny Hong Kong pieces with the crushed boxes this is a Hino 300 tow truck at normal price these are without my range or out of my range um, 13 euro 99 cents but because of the crushed box 9 euro 99 so let's take a look the model should be fine something glued to the back here oh sticker sheet interesting so you can uh, put additional stickers on these so we got a plastic base rubber tires big steelies some uh, Chinese on the side that I can't read lensed headlights with silver paint behind them So left hand drive got a separate light bar in blue and red got these uh, dolly wheels let's see if this actually functions yeah it does comes down like that and it also slides out that's cool does it lift up yes it does okay interesting uh, kind of can lift it up like that then the uh, these pistons come up too so that's a cool addition to the uh, tow truck collection I've been uh, eyeballing this for a while now but you know have to wait till uh, something like this comes up to be able to buy it and by the way these extra lights here in the back seems to be a lens too cool it's got its license plate up here and then again down here for the back nice and another one from tiny hong kong toyota rav4 taxi go taiwan 12.99 reduced to 8.99 let's see and this one is in okay condition okay so plastic base plastic tires authentic looking rims it's got opening doors so you can take a look inside nice interior they shut very nicely like the good old uh, matchbox and major did back in the day taxi sign on top silver painted mirrors lens headlights Toyota badge fog lights license plate full deco all around Painted tail lights and that uh, gloss paint that kind of mimics uh, lens tail lights. Got some defroster lines on the back there that are not too big. So, and do these have suspension? Yes, they do. Cool. Does the truck also have suspension? No, it doesn't. So, yeah, nice addition to the taxi collection, definitely. Put it on the parking lot. Not sure. Not sure if these are true 164 scale, but you know, for now, for once, I will put some stuff on the parking lot that I'm not sure if that is uh, if it's 164 or not. Then we got a bunch of Mini GT. Here's the Audi RS6 Avant in Navara blue metallic. So this is kind of old stuff. 186 is the number. But um, the store I buy these from, they import these themselves from China. 
and uh, they just have to fill up a container and then ship it so as long as the container isn't full they cannot uh, ship it so that's why it takes some time uh, for that stuff to get uh, to their store um, left hand drive version this is 9 euro 99 cents these are normal price of course I was very eager to get these beautiful station wagons So as usual with Mini GT, metal on metal, exhaust detail in silver, rubber tires, authentic rims, lens lights front and back, very nice color, metal flake blue. These rims aren't the prettiest, but you know, they are authentic. I think that's the most important thing. Nice interior. R6 on the license plate. Big exhausts. Looks very cool. Yeah. Very pleased. Nice model. Got the silver side mirrors. And also got the uh, red version of course 194 carbon black edition in tango red same price point this is uh, definitely a nicer version and also more popular I think amongst collectors Got the black exhaust on this one, nicer rims too. So got the completely black front end, that's why it's called the carbon black, I guess. Although the, uh, the regular one also has the a lot of unpainted parts in the front, but it's got a little bit more silver or chrome accents that the uh, the red one are just black. Mirrors are black instead of silver. Roof rails are black too instead of silver. Same with the uh, the chrome around the windows. It's all black. Yeah, you can see there all the silver parts are black on the red one. Cool. Nice duo. And then the Porsche Taycan Turbo S in white. Again, same price. First release of this model. And uh, here the blue one was the first release. So when I go uh, shopping, grocery shopping on Thursday evening, often there is uh, someone on the parking lot with this vehicle in white. Looks pretty good with these uh, the rims with that white ring on it. I like that. So black painted metal base, no silver accents here. Well, it doesn't have an exhaust because it's electric, right? Lens the headlights, very small ones. Porsche badge. And then in the back seems to be a yeah, taillight seems to be painted, not lensed. Taken Turbo S badge. Some red paint there for the uh, reflectors, I guess. Let's see interior wise. Yeah. Okay. Nice model. And I also got the uh, number 225, the frozen blue metallic one. Let's 
it's also a Turbo S, same price. This is actually a nicer color than I expected it to be because it's got some metal flake in it. And uh, yeah, again, it's got the same color that comes back in the rims. Thought it was just a uh, kind of a non metallic, but that's kind of a surprise. And then the last Mini GT is this Toyota Supra in dark green pearl metallic. This has a crunched box, so normal price is $8.99, reduced to $6.99. Yeah, some of these are a little bit cheaper. Don't know why, maybe they're less popular. I don't know. Number 230. Let's open the good side. One silver exhaust tip, authentic rims, rubber tires, of course, as we're used to. A lot of metallic in that green. So, lensed headlights, lensed taillights. Taillights are very nicely done. Toyota badge, Supra on the license plate. It's got the uh, shopping, cart shopping cart handle in the back. See, this kind of Defroster lines, these are too big. Doesn't really look that good. And I've got a nice interior. As uh, most of these Mini GT do. And then I got four of these Kyosho Lamborghini. They had more of them but it kind of made a selection. I don't really want to buy all of the uh, these releases but just to have an example of each model in a nice color. That's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, these just came up as a kind of a special offer uh, for 9 euro 99 cents which I think it's a, an okay price for a Kyosho. This is the Lamborghini Miura P400 in uh, maroon and gold. I have a Miura, but it's a Yota. I believe it's in black and gold. So I kind of wanted a, a more uh, stock-ish version. That's why I got this one. Red wasn't available, otherwise I probably would have gotten a red if it was available but this maroon doesn't look bad either let's see and uh, these are always a pain to open I hate acrylic boxes okay there we go let's put all that on top of here and then Close it up like that, then we, we don't lose anything. So Kyosho have a plastic base. It says what uh, vehicle it is. Got the silver exhaust tips. Of course, rubber tires and authentic rims, like most of these premium vehicles. I think it says the designer on the side there. I'm not sure if it's Bertoni. Kind of looks like that. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong. Some silver and black on the grill there. Lens headlights with the uh, the eyebrows or the eyelashes, I should say. Lamborghini logo. Two plastic grills here. The gold um, wheel arch. No, not wheel arches. Rocker panels. 
Again, interior is pretty okay. Little distortion from the windows. Got a black plastic piece here too. And it's got lens tail lights. Seem to be all red. Some black paint for the license plate lightning lighting. Of course the exhaust tips and some black for the grill there. Yeah, very cool. Nice model. Then we get the Kuntak LP500S in red. Now I already have a, um, this model in green, but I really wanted a red one, so that's why I got the second one of these. poster on my uh, bedroom wall when I was a teenager of a white one don't know if it's I still have it maybe it's in the attic not sure like so many uh, boys back then had this on their bedroom wall very nice rims with the the five dots Got the spoiler, which is plastic, it seems, or is it? No. Mm. I'm not sure. It looks plastic. Doesn't look exactly the same as the, the metal on the vehicle. Lens headlights. This is a very cool model. Very nicely executed by Kyosho. Has the uh, the name on the side, and again I think the designer badge. I'm not sure, looks different than on the Mura. And still lights also. The brand name and the model name on the back. Seems to have some orange in the. Uh, in the tail lights and some white too for the reverse and the one side and maybe the fog light on the other side so that looks very nicely done not a lot of detail here for the uh, the exhaust looks a little bit bland Majorette is also releasing a uh, Kuntak and um, very curious to see what that is going to look like. Well, I've seen it in pictures, but I want to see it uh, with my own two eyes, of course. Then we get the Veneno uh, in green with a red line on it. Very wild Lamborghini styling wise. Also pretty big, and you compare it to the, uh, the two classic Lamborghinis. It's really a, a long vehicle. Let's see, this thing is huge. So we've got a big diffuser in the back with thin rubber tires, black rims, 
So this is the first one we see, we look at here, at least Kyosho that has side mirrors. The other two did not have side mirrors. Lens headlights. Seats look very close to the dashboard. Maybe that's just my idea. Got the steering wheel with the flat spot on the bottom. In the back we got painted taillights, not lensed. To get some uh, exhaust tips painted there, four of them. Lamborghini between the tail lights. Yeah, see this fin here in the middle. It says Veneno. Yep, yeah, pretty wild. Cool. And also got the Roadster version in blue with a red line. comes off easily. At least one did. Very vibrant colors but in my opinion a sports car or well a supercar I should say needs to have a wild color. It's going to be pretty much the same as the other one, but without a roof, basically. These openings here on the side are actually open. Uh, I was kind of wondering that, but you see, the knife goes in there. That's uh, impressive. And here, the ones on top here, too. Yeah, same details here. We can get a better look at the interior on this one. Seats don't seem so close to the dashboard in this one. Maybe that's just my idea. So let's take a look at the very small parking lot for today. Sorry for the shaky camera. I've got some Americans, some Japanese, some German, and again a Japanese here. And then we got some Italian. The evolution of Lamborghini. Thanks for watching. Bye.